Hi, I'm Mike from Craft Supplies USA, and today we're going to apply a CA finish to a pen. There are a ton of options for finishing your pens, but my favorite hands down is the CA pen finish. Nothing shows off your blank better. CA is short for cyanoacrylate, which is the chemical name for superglue. A CA finish is made by building up a lot of really thin layers of superglue on your pen, then polishing them to a high gloss. It is the best finish we've found and can be used on all woods, stabilized woods, and even acrylics. I've spent years perfecting my method, and in this video I'll show you how to apply a CA finish to a wooden pen, but you can use the same process for any pen or project. To apply a CA finish, you'll need a turned pen or project, non-stick pen bushings, some thin and medium CA glue, spray activator, paper towels, micro abrasive pads, plastic polish, and some standard turning tools and supplies. And as a resource for this video, we'll include links to all these products in the description below. When selecting a paper towel for a CA finish, some of the cheaper ones leave fibers behind and cure the CA too quickly, so I recommend using the blue shop towels that can be found in most auto stores. Gloves are also highly recommended throughout this process, and I'll be using the black nitrile gloves. We'll start with a pen blank that I've sanded through 600 grit, but if you need more instruction on turning a pen, watch our playlist up here or in the description below. There are two options when mounting the pen on the mandrel. You can use traditional steel bushings or non-stick plastic bushings. These non-stick bushings won't get glued to the blank, so we highly recommend them. Mount the pen blank on the lathe with the bushings on a standard pen mandrel. Wipe the blank with some denatured alcohol to remove any oil and dust. With the lathe off, coat the blank in thin CA glue. Thin CA glue is water thin and will be soaked up by the blank creating a good base layer. Spray the blank with activator and wait a few seconds before moving on. For the rest of the process, we'll be using medium CA because it builds up quickly and doesn't require heavy sanding. Now turn the lid down to around 200 RPM. If it is going too fast, the glue will cure faster than you can spread it, so keep the speed low. Tear off a small bit of paper towel and place a few drops of CA on it, then do the same on the blank. Move quickly and throw away the paper towel after leveling out the glue. Now give it a spray or two with activator, then wait 5 to 10 seconds to make sure the CA is completely dry. Repeat the process for each coat. I do around 10 coats, discarding the paper towel after each one. The trick to a good CA finish is a lot of very light coats. Don't try to speed up the process by using too much on one coat, or you'll end up with a very uneven finish that requires heavy sanding. Even with light coats, the glue won't be perfectly even, but don't worry too much about that. Focus on getting a good even base that can be leveled with light sanding later. Once you've applied 8 to 10 coats, it's time to sand the blank. There are a ton of different options out there for sanding, but my favorite is the microsurface pen finishing pads that come in a set from 1500 to 12,000 grit. After a while, it can be hard to tell the grits apart, so when you get a brand new set, mark them to make sure you can keep them in order. Turn the lathe speed up to around 1500 RPM and grab the first microsurface finishing pad. Then dip it in some water and wet sand the blank. The pressure should be light enough that the pad doesn't deform around the blank. Keep the pad moving and occasionally re-wet it to rinse it off and keep the blank cool. The goal here is to level out the finish before moving on to any higher grits. If you see any shiny spots, these are low areas in the finish that need to be leveled out. Turn the lathe back on and continue with the 1500 grit until the blank is uniformly matte with no shiny spots. Before moving on to the next grit, use the 1500 grit pad to sand laterally to get rid of any radial scratches caused by sanding on the lathe. Now continue the process using the same technique with each grit. 
Wet sand with very light pressure, then stop and sand laterally between each grit. This part of the process is crucial for a good finish, so take your time. Sand longer with the low grits since the higher ones are more for polishing than removing material. The blank will become clearer as you go, and the last few grits will polish it to a very high gloss. Work your way through wet sanding with all of the grits, ending with a super fine 12,000 grit. Bring up the lathe speed to around 3200 RPM and apply some Hut Ultra Gloss Plastic Polish to a clean cloth and buff the blank with the lathe running. Once we're finished buffing, remove the blank from the lathe. You may find that there's a little glue extending beyond the end of the blank, and this is easily fixed. Place the 1500 grit pad on the table and gently twist the end of the blank into it. I recommend doing this to each end, even if you don't think you need to. If there is any glue on the end of the blank, the finish will chip and flake when you assemble the pen. You can stop here, but if you want the ultimate shine, you can use the acrylic buffing mandrel. Load the left wheel with a little of the included compound, then hold your blank to the spinning wheel with the lathe around 1500 RPM. For the best control, buff the blank in a vertical position. Buff the entire blank until all the scratches are gone, then move on to the cotton wheel for final polishing. After buffing, the finish is done and it's time to assemble the pen. A good CA finish is incredibly durable and showcases your turn blank better than any other finish. Applying a CA finish is more of an art than a science, so don't be discouraged if your first try doesn't come out perfect. Just keep practicing, because nothing beats a good CA finish. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for the latest in wood turning. And if you need any CA finishing supplies, click right here or in the link below.